Dressing Application Guide for Foam Dressing. Thoroughly clean the wound. If required, apply a non-adherent contact layer over bone, tendon, other sensitive structures. Apply skin prep to protect the peri-wound skin. Cut the foam to fit the size and shape of the wound. Do not cut the foam over the wound bed. Rub the edges of the foam to remove any loose particles. If tunneling or undermining is present, consider using white foam. Cut the white foam one centimeter longer than the tunnel or undermining. Place the white foam in and pull back about 0.5 centimeters. Place the black foam into the wound cavity. Do not tightly pack or force foam into areas of the wound. Do not allow the foam to overlap onto intact skin. If utilizing white foam, ensure white foam is in contact with black foam. Foam touches foam. Apply transparent film. The film should extend three to five centimeters beyond the wound margin to facilitate adequate seal. Partially peel back one side of layer one and place adhesive side down. Then, remove the remaining side of layer one. Now, remove the backing or layer two. Remove the perforated silver colored tab on the side. Select appropriate location for the fit pad to be applied. Pinch the film and cut a small hole approximately one centimeter in diameter. Peel the white backing off of the fit pad to expose the adhesive. Place the fit pad centered over the previously cut hole in the dressing. Press firmly for adherence. Attach the dressing tubing to the pump tubing by pushing the quick connector together until you hear a secure click. <laughs>